My name is Sarabi, I'm 25 years old and I want to be healthy and not be deprived of what I like anymore. Um, I was always a chubby kid, you know, I, looking back at photos, I wasn't, but in my head I always was, you know. Um, my mother always tried to get me to lose weight, my sister always was thinner than me, all my friends were just a little bit thinner, but um, with that came like every diet in the world. Everyone told me about how to lose weight from when I was 12, you know, what I should eat, shouldn't eat, how much I should work out, breathing exercises. Um, been, having been fat since I was little, um, it meant that my relationship with food was all over the place, you know, because um, I wasn't supposed to like cake, which made me want to like it even more as a rebellious teenager, which everyone is. You know, I wasn't supposed to like breaded chicken, but that was delicious and I liked it even more. So with the deprivation that came with dieting and trying to lose weight came the very dysfunctional relationship I ended up having with food because during a diet all I wanted was something terrible to end it with. Well, here's the thing, I love food, right? I love it. I, I, it makes my day. Um, I turned it when I'm happy, you know, I turned it when I'm sad. It's my most successful and most dysfunctional relationship. And at the same time, it's something I have developed because of all the dieting. I, I deprive myself for a month and I'm like, for 30 days, I can't eat my favorite food item because it's fatty or because it has loads of sugar or because it's, it's covered in batter or uh, it's not low carb, it's not low fat and there's too many calories in it. So I just don't eat it. But then it comes day 31 and I start weeding out of that diet. And by day 35, I'm eating that bucket of chicken. I'm eating that whole large pizza to myself with the crust and double cheese on it because while well, I've earned it, I dieted for a whole month. So why shouldn't I? And then there goes the weight gain again. Um, the whole deprivation thing didn't work for me. And it's led to a point where if anyone tells me, well, it's, it's a great diet and you should do it. And it's, I can do it with my lifestyle. So you can do it with your lifestyle, but it means I can't eat something. Even if it's something I don't like, I'm like, get out of here. If I could lose the weight and keep it off, it's really, it's a silly thing to say really, but I think I just, I feel like I love myself more, you know? And if I did, then maybe other people would love me more. I imagine I'd be everything I've been trying to be right now. I'd be sexy and confident, because in my head, I swear to God, I still think I'm Beyonce, you know? So I think I'm like super sexy when I walk into a room and it's all fine until I hit a mirror and I'm like, oh shit, you know? But um, I think I just, I I hope I have this like, positivity that just channels through me that leads to everything that I do to just be better because I've lost the weight because it doesn't just mean that I've lost the weight it means I was able to keep it off um, I first heard about intermittent fasting when my friend Marav came to stay with me in London and she, she was with me for three months I was in and out but every time I saw her she lost weight and then I spoke to my aunt and she started intermittent fasting and I spoke to my mom and she started intermittent fasting and it was like everyone around me was just forming a circle of intermittent fasters and I was in the middle saying, no, I'm not going to do it. And uh, everyone around me was showing me how they were working around it. So uh, that's how I found out more about it.